Hello Nuggets. Been a few days uh, since I made a video. Um, stuff going on mostly got immersed <coughs> in uh, Unreal Engine making my own video game again. God, I love doing that. It's like my toy. Wish I could make a living just sitting at home doing it on my own. Other people have. Anyway. Uh, so I wanted to talk about... Um, I'm writing a trailer at the moment. So... My wife and I have written a script. It's for a half hour HBO comedy. And uh, we want to shoot some of it to help pitch, right? So we're basically shooting a trailer. We're taking the pilot script that we have and I have to break it down into a trailer. Now, ideally, the trailer needs to be one to two minutes. I want to keep it nice and short. But it's really interesting how difficult <laughs> it is to write a trailer as opposed to edit a trailer. I've edited trailers before from stuff, right? Nothing big, but I've taken an existing body of content and then broken it down into a very short story that will sell something, you know? That's not that hard to do. I mean, it's hard to do well, I'm sure. But in general, you have the source material, you just have to go through it and figure out what you want. But writing one is difficult because I, I have no idea. What should you do? Should you... <clears throat> Should you just take your existing pilot and break things out? Because then the structure of the trailer looks very different. I still have to rewrite it because some stuff is in VO. You're taking some lines and saying, well, we won't have the camera there. We need that line to overlap this different piece of material. Um, and it's structured very differently. But I kind of have to do it because there's no way that we can shoot this whole thing. You know, we don't want to invest that kind of money into it. The thousands and thousands of dollars it would cost, cost to do that. We're in, willing to invest a small amount of money because we believe in the project to do the trailer. So therefore, you know, if someone has a line that's normally in the middle of a scene in the trailer, that's just going to be a line of dialogue that plays over a different location that we're shooting. So we can condense everything. But then the actor still needs to deliver that line. We still need to get them in a booth and get them to record that line. And now the trailer script looks very different from the actual script. Um, and I don't know of any models of this because that's not how you make trailers. This is, a, this is a unique skill. This is a pitch script, a shortened pitch trailer script. And I, I can't think of a context in which that, I know of that being done very regularly. Um, which makes me hesitate and wonder, am I doing this wrong? Should we just be shooting this whole thing and then editing it? into something that's pitched. The problem is, we have a good producer friend uh, of ours called Lottie. Uh, she's done a lot of work, she's very good, she knows her stuff, very knowledgeable. And the advice she gave is just shoot some scenes, just shoot a trailer, right? Don't shoot the whole thing. The reason being, let's say you shoot this whole thing, right? And you sell it to HBO, and they're like, yeah, this is fantastic, this is great. The first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna reshoot the whole thing, right? Because there's no way you can attain the quality that they need to attain for it to be broadcast. No matter really, no matter who you go to, whatever you shoot is just a pitch document. It's just a pitch media. So why shoot the whole thing? So shoot a trailer instead. So we talked about, well, should we just shoot some scenes? And then we're like, well, that doesn't give you a cliffhanger because you can't shoot scene one and then shoot scene seven and expect people to get the connection. You, are, you need to connect that material. So we're ending up, all right, well, what do we do? We're going to have to shoot a trailer. So now I have to write the trailer. And now I'm at this standpoint, this point where I just can't figure out what to do next. It's hard. I've had like three runs at it. And every time I'm like, no, nope, that's not it. That's not it. I mean, maybe what I need to do is just accept the fact that the trailer is going to look very different. It will still pick the dialogue, but the action and the description will be a completely separate entity. And I'm, I'm having problems. I'm wanting to just take snippets out and drop it in like, oh, well, that's in this location. So I need to drop that location description in. But actually, maybe that's not what I need to do at all. I just need to write the dialogue first and then slot the scenes in. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I did a Google search on this. A DuckDuckGo search. I don't use Google anymore. Um, I did a, a, a search on this and I didn't find anything. I found trailer scripts, but they were full-on trailers, you know. Hmm. Interesting. 
All right, I want to put this up so that when I watch this back at some point in the future, I'll say, oh, I solved that problem. And in fact, maybe I will, because I need to finish this today. This is, we have a director of photography we want to hire. Um, it's got a nice, is it a magic camera or red camera or whatever? Anyway, we want to hire him. He's really good. Um, and we want to start sending this trailer out. We don't want to send the full script out to everyone just because it's, it's a big ask, right? You're asking people to read your script. If you send them a four-page trailer and say, we're going to shoot this, it's a lot easier. It's a lot, a lot easier to get people to buy into reading it. So that's what I'm working on. It's got to get out to the people today. So I need to finish it today. So tomorrow's log will be addressing how I fixed it. All right. Have a good day. Bye.